गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम ऑल स्टूडेंट्स यू रिमेंबर वी डिस्कस्ड द डिफरेंट स्टेप्स ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर प्रैक्टिस प्रैक्टिस इन प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड प्रिपरेशन ऑफ सॉइल सोइंग सीड सिलेक्शन ऑफ सीड एटसेट्रा नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस नेक्स्ट स्टेप्स ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर प्रैक्टिस नेक्स्ट पॉइंट टू डिस्कस इज इरीगेशन वॉट इज इरीगेशन वॉटरिंग प्लांट इज सिंपली नोन एज इरीगेशन वॉटरिंग प्लांट इज नोन एज इरीगेशन वॉटरिंग और इरीगेशन डिपेंड्स ऑन टू फैक्टर्स जनरली वॉटर वॉटरिंग डिपेंड्स ऑन द नेचर ऑफ सॉइल एंड इट डिपेंड्स ऑन द नेचर ऑफ द प्लांट फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी नो दैट सैंडी सॉइल नीड मोर वॉटर ऑन द अदर हैंड क्ले सॉइल नीड कंपेरेटिवली लेस वॉटर ऑन सो वॉटरिंग डिपेंड्स ऑन द नेचर ऑफ द सॉइल वी हैव टू चेक फर्स्ट द सॉइल इज क्ले लोम और सैंडी सॉइल ऑन दी अदर हैंड वॉटरिंग ऑल्सो डिपेंड ऑन द नेचर ऑफ द प्लांट सम प्लांट लाइक ओनियन मेज दे नीड मोर वॉटर ऑन दी अदर हैंड देर आर सम प्लांट लाइक ग्रैम मस्टर्ड नीड कंपेरेटिवली लेस अमाउंट ऑफ वॉटर सो इरीगेशन जनरली डिपेंड्स ऑन टू फैक्टर्स नेचर ऑफ सॉइल and nature of plant irrigation is done generally by generally two methods some methods the ancient methods are called traditional methods which include moat or chain pump method and modern methods modern method include sprinkler method and drip irrigation method they the modern methods uh ensure uniform irrigation they save water and they maintain uniformity of irrigation after irrigation our next point to discuss is adding manure and fertilizer all plants all kind of crops need nutrients and nutrients are provided by either manure or fertilizer the nutrients which are needed by plants in small amount are called micronutrients and which are needed by plants in large amount are known as macronutrients npk nitrogen phosphorus and potassium they are macronutrients needed by plant in large amount generally so manure and fertilizer provide nutrition or nutrients to the plant for their proper growth and development now uh, we will discuss basic some basic differences between manure and fertilizer as you know manure are organic and fertilizer are inorganic simply you can say manure is natural and fertilizers are synthetic or man made manure add humus to the soil fertilizers do not add any humus they do not add any humus to the soil manure pro provide all nutrients they provide all nutrients to the soil in general on the other hand they are nutrient specific it means for example we are using urea so urea will provide only nitrogen on the other hand if we are using cattle dung then cattle dung will provide all the micro and macro nutrients so if we use manure even in large amount it is not harmful not harmful 
even it is used in large amount not harmful on the other hand fertilizers can be harmful they can change the basic nature of the soil they can make the soil either acidic or basic they can change the nature of the soil so these are some general differences between manure and fertilizer we have discussed irrigation manure and fertilizer let's come to protection from weeds protection from weeds useless plants or undesired plants which grow with the main crop are called weeds so what are weeds undesired plants like amaranthus wild oat chinopodium chinopodium which is commonly known as bachua these are weeds these are undesired plant so removing weeds from the field is called weeding is called weeding and the chemical which are used to remove or used to kill weeds are called weedicides they include weedicides include 24d ncpa and glutathione these are basic or intensive common weedicides which are used to remove or to kill weeds or undesired plants protection from birds animals and diseases we can protect our crop from birds animals and diseases by using by using various insecticide or pesticide insecticides the chemicals which are used to kill insects are called insecticide for example bxc melatonin these are two insecticide or pesticide pesticides which are used to kill pests uh, the very common pesticide is aluminum these are insecticide pesticide aluminum phosphide aluminum phosphide these are common insecticide and pesticides and uh, the, the seeds should be treated by using these common chemicals we can protect our crop from birds and diseases particular next is harvesting and threshing cutting and gathering of crop using different machines is called harvesting threshing is a technique in which husk and grain is separated previously it was done manually with the help of animals nowadays it is done with the help of machines like combine or thresher next buffer stock buffer stock reserve of food grain maintained by government to prevent any food scarcity this is called buffer stock but before this we should discuss storage of food material storage is very essential part in the end just keep in mind before storage we must check that the moisture content of the food grain should not exceed 40% otherwise it can uh, enhance the growth of fungus in the food grain which will be a big reason of the decay of food grains so we can we can store the food grains in silos and gunny bags they should be clean they should be treated we should keep in mind the proper moisture content and we can we can use we can add pesticide in the food grains which is 
uh, aluminium phosphide it is available in the form of powder and tablet that's all for the day we will meet again in next part of this chapter thanks